Hey guys, Linda here coming to you with a video today. Hope everyone's having a good day today. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Hope you're enjoying your Mother's Day. Hope you got uh, some nice surprises from your kids out there. So, hope you're having a good day and staying safe out there. Today I'm coming to you with a book haul. Um, I have quite a few book hauls. I'm, I'm going to... Uh, just separate them because I, I want to do some. I got some um, call them category romances uh, books that I've bought. Uh, I'm going to do a separate haul on those because uh, I've got quite a few books here. So I might have about um, do two or three different hauls or maybe just two. But I'm going to start out with this one. First up, I got here. I'm not going to go over any of them, I'm just going to show you the ones that I've got. Uh, I've read this one before, uh, this book right here before. Uh, it's uh, Victoria Thompson, Bold Texas Embrace. I think I've had this book on my channel before. I think I, I told you that I really enjoyed this book. I uh, rec I recommended this book on my channel, let me put it that way. It's, uh, it's on a teacher and a cowboy. Uh, I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, if you want a historical about a cow, if you like reading historical about cowboys, I highly, highly recommend, and school teachers, I highly, highly recommend this one. And this is Victoria Thompson, Bold Texas Embrace. I already have this book. I think I mentioned on here before. If I really, really love a book, I buy two of them. So this is the second book that I bought of this one. I'll just keep this one as a, um, a souvenir. And I will read the other one because I really, really enjoyed this one. Highly, highly recommend it. Bold Texas Embrace by Vic Victoria Thompson. Next, I got two category romances here. I went ahead and put put these two category romances in this book haul um, because I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to do a category romance book haul. It's only all going to be category romances, but I, I didn't include these with the other uh, books I had. I just went ahead and threw these in here, so I'll go ahead and show them to you. Um, I had a, a, I used to love uh, Suzanne Brockman back in the day. I used to collect all her books. So I saw these two and I don't think I've read them before. So I went ahead and picked these up. I think I got these off of uh, Thrift Books. Uh, A Man to Die For by Suzanne Brockman. And Not Without Risk by Suzanne Brockman. If you haven't read anything by Suzanne Brockman, go ahead and check some of her category romances out. She used to uh, write for Silhouette's Intimate Moments. Uh, she's an excellent writer. She usually writes romantic suspense, so I'm sure these are romantic suspense. Um, and you can go and check her out. And this is A Man to Die For and Not Without Risk. Highly, highly recommend her writing. That's Suzanne Brockman. And like I said, these are silhouette intimate moments. Next, I got Lisa Claypass. Again, The Magic. Uh... I thought I had most of Lisa Claypan's book, but I, I went back through my book collection there. I couldn't find them. I don't know if I gave them away. I don't remember. And then I read the back of this. I couldn't remember if I read it or not. So I'm just going back and reading her books because I can't remember. I know I used to read her back in the day, uh, and I can't remember if I read this one. This was published back in 2004. Uh, I don't know if I read it or not, so I picked it up again. Again, The Magic by Lisa Clayposs. I also got um, Julia Quinn to Sir Philip with Love. This is a Bridgerton novel. Uh, I heard people highly, highly recommend this book. Because I'm not going to go back and read her, her whole series. Like I, I think I mentioned on here, Julia Quinn is a hit or miss for me. So I'm only getting the books that people highly, highly recommend. And this one is highly, 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 highly recommend on YouTube. So I was like, let me pick it up. And this is to, to Sir Philip with Love. So I picked this up. I also got this from Half Price Book. Uh, this is Tempt Me at Midnight. I couldn't remember if I read this one or not. And this one has a step back. Let's see when this one was published. This was published in 2009. I'm sure when I go back and read both of these, if I read it before, I'm sure it'll bring back memories. But I can't remember. If, I can't remember them. So I went ahead and picked them, picked it, picked them up again. And this is like I said, "Tempt Me at Midnight" by Lisa Claypass. And I picked this up from Half Price Book. I paid three ninety nine for that. I also saw this. I think I got this from Kroger's or somewhere when I went to the book uh, Kroger's and I went to their little book kiosk and I saw Laura Griffin. I I think I mentioned on 
uh, here before. I'm a big fan of Laura Griffin books. She write romantic suspense. And this is called Flight. And this is the Texas Murder Files. I think this is book one. I think so. Let me look in here and see. Texas Murder. Yep. Nope. This is book two. The first book is Hidden. So this is book two. If I like this one, I might go back and try Hidden. I don't know. I have to read the synopsis because I don't buy all her books in a series. I usually just read the synopsis and see do I like it and then I pick it up. And I read the synopsis of this one and it sounded interesting. So I picked that up. Lord Griffin, Flight. Next I got Eva Lee, Waiting for a Scott Like You. I haven't read anything about Eva Lee. I saw this in, also in the, I don't know if I got this from the bookstore or uh, Walmart. I might have saw it in Walmart. I can't remember, but I read the back of it and it sounded interesting. So I picked it up. Evilly waiting for a Scott like you. Try that one out. And then I was also in Barnes and Nobles and I saw this cover. It looked interesting and different. This is Mr. Malcolm's List by Suzanne Allen. I picked this one up. It sounded interesting. The synopsis sounded interesting. So I picked that up. Also, while I was in uh, Burns and Nova, I saw Helen Hurt, Follow Me Darkly. I picked this up. I like this uh, this uh, cover here. I hope I like this book because I don't read Helen Hart before. I think I read her Obsession or something. I think the book was called. I didn't, let's say, just say I didn't enjoy it. <laughs> but I did pick up this. I read the back of this. This kind of remind me of Fifty Shades of Grey. I think this is going to be... Uh, she um, is the girl a photographer. I don't know, but he's a billionaire. There you go. He's a billionaire, and I think she's going to be like a working girl or something. And yeah, there you go. Bitch of Shades of Grey. <laughs> a takeoff. But um, I was like, let me try this out. This is Helen Hurt, Follow Me Darkly, and I think this is in a series. This is book one. So if I like it, I'll continue. If not, yeah, I'll be stopping at Follow Me Darkly. But like I said, I've read Helen Hart, one of her books before, and yeah, it, it didn't do it for me. So, I'm giving her another chance with Follow Me Darkly. And then last I got on this book haul, I got Bully. I heard a lot of people on YouTube talk about Bully by Penelope Douglas. I was like, well, let me try it out. So, here it is. And I found this at uh, Barnes and Nobles too. I was like, well, they, got, they had Penelope Douglas in the Barnes and Nobles. So, I was like, let me pick it up. And this is a bully romance, so I hope I enjoy it. Um, I like some. I like Penelope Douglas writing, so I picked this one up. So that's it on this book haul. Uh, I hope you enjoy my little haul here. I didn't go read any of the back of them because I just wanted to go through those right quick. Uh, so that's my haul. Hopefully, I can get to some of these pretty soon. But that's it for now. Until next time, keep reading those romances, and I'll be seeing you later. Bye.